Uh, welcome on board. Uh, today, uh, in this presentation, I'm going to talk about the Mebed LPR technology for advanced vehicle access management solution. A long, a long name uh, to say that I'm going to present our LPR solution and to tell you uh, what are the 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 apply of this of this technology. Okay, so let me introduce myself. I'm Angel Duarte, I'm product manager of CK Chico Europe. Here you have my email in case do you need more information or maybe you can have some questions, uh, please uh, send me an email. Uh, so, well, I'm going to talk about or LPR. The first point is uh, tell our purpose. Why us in a mature market? As you probably know, guys, uh, the LPR technology is been a long time in the market. So why else decide to, to to introduce a new solution in the market? So have an explanation, obviously, and I'm going to to tell you. Uh, the second point: access control. What it's done. Uh, CKT Code is a company that has a good access control solution. So obviously, the LPR can can be applied uh, for this uh, purpose. Payment parking, what we are looking for. This is a market that we are uh, never been before, uh, at least here in Europe, and uh, we want to enter. So that's that's one of my, the, the, the main point of this presentation. And um, for uh, your requirements or solution, I'm going to explain a little bit uh, the combination that we can do with our technology. So well, a purpose. Why us in a mature market? As you probably know, the LPR technology starts in 1976, if I'm not wrong, uh, a long time ago, the technology changed a lot. Uh, it starts with the with the British police uh, because as United Kingdom back in that time, I don't know, I think today as well, but back in that time, it was the country with more CCTV cameras per uh, kilometer. Uh, so in that time, the police department uh, decided to think, oh, what if we be able to read the number plate of the car with our CCTV camera? It will be really helpful to try to avoid some kind of you know issue in the city. So they started to do some some investigation. Uh, but you know, as you can see in the image below, there are a lot of different uh, number plates. So the technology back in that time it was not so powerful. To, to manage all these change, colors, shapes, etc. So it really becomes a useful technology around 1990. So, well, a, a technology that has a, a, a great uh, period in, in the market. Uh, every country has multiple number plates. If you think in your own country, you have your the normal car, car's number plate, the motorbike, the pen of the cylinder, could be have different number plates, the police number plates, uh, diplomatic. There are a lot of different uh, number plates in each country. So imagine the difficult to 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 assist them if if want to to be in every in every country in the market. So for for that reason, it's a really niche market. Every every country uh, in the world has a, companies that are more powerful in. In, in this technology. If I think, for example, in Spain, I can think about three, four big companies here in Spain, in France, two. In United Kingdom, there are a good ones as well. So, well, this is the result of this difficult technology. Companies are really uh, specialized in, in different countries. So, well, why us? It's, it's, it's the question. Mainly in the market, you can find like the chip solution, okay, normally CCTV cameras, uh, not specific hardware for, for LPR. This is just a normal CCTV camera that normally has a low quality OCR. Uh, well, maybe it's a no, low quality, but you know, a free one could be. If you type on Google a uh, free OCR, you can find multiple of them. So some kind of this chip solution has this OCR. Normally are uh, running in a in a PC in a server outside of the camera. Uh, this chip solution of LPR have normally a low accuracy. Not it's not the the main point of of this kind of, of solution. 
uh, and definitely is not suitable for big projects. So when I think in this chip solution, LPR cameras, maybe it's for, for you know, if you want to, to install an LPR camera in your parking to open your parking gate, you know, not because you don't want to, to search for the remote control, this is more, more or less the solution. But in the other hand, we have the expensive solution, okay? There are specific camera designed for this LPR purpose. Uh, normally, I, I don't want to make, you know, a big true generalization, but normally it's not easy integration. These kind of companies are really close in some, in some ways. So the integration with this company are quite difficult. But however, they have a really high quality OCR, uh, the performance awesome. If you go to a public tender, uh, when uh, uh, you know the government is trying to decide between two of these ex companies that create expensive solution, uh, the, the, the percent of accuracy is 98.6 and the other company is 98.5. Oh, and, that's, and that's the decision. So there are really high accuracy and mainly are only suitable for big projects. Okay, so this is roughly what you find in the market. So as you can see, there is a big gap there and that's why we fit into. So what we do, we have middle price, high quality. How we can do that? Okay, we grab a CCTV camera, okay, and do some modification. So on, on that CCTV camera, so we specialize um, much the, the camera. So we use, we find a high quality OCR. I'm going to tell you a little bit later, but we use, we use one of the best OCR in the market. Uh, so we find, you know, a really, high quality OCR that have the results that we have really high accuracy. One of the main points that, that we're looking for when, when we are designing this solution is to find a really easy integration because we want the company to integrate a camera for new product, new solution, for the solution that we, they are really have. Uh, so as you can see, I'm going to show you uh, in a few minutes, it's really easy for, for integration and it's suitable for all projects because of the price. Uh, so, well, this is our camera. Okay, so the, what, what I'm trying to, to, to find with this presentation is, okay, the first one present our camera to the market. We already did that, but this is one opportunity more to, to introduce. So I'm going to present the camera, obviously. And the second one uh, is, we are looking for integrator. Okay, this is quite important for me. Uh, for access control, uh, we have the complete solution. I'm going to explain you a, a little bit uh, later, but we have the complete solution uh, only like plug and play for an access control for uh, with number plates. You can use as well the API of, 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 of our main software, or you can do the integration with the camera. And the Parking solution and payment parking, and this is important, uh, you can do with the IPA of the biosecurity of the software, or, and this, I think this is the, the big point for this parking solution, payment parking, do the camera integration. Okay, so this is the purpose of, of this presentation. I'm going to talk a little bit uh, deeper about this, the technical, the technical specification of this camera. So first one, and really important in an LPR camera, the OCR is running by neural labs. That is one of the most say, accuracy, most accuracy, more flexible, and this is so important with the LPR camera, more flexible OCR in the market. We have this OCR embedded in the camera. So the camera has the processor that is running this OCR. Uh, high, high accuracy around 96, 98%, depends on the installation. Uh, I don't like to say 99%, uh, but we have uh, some lanes in some specific project that if you, if you study the, the accuracy, it's 99, but they prefer to be a, a little bit, you know, I'm engineer, so 96, 98, it's, it's really fine. Depends on what, obviously, depends on the installation, the stride line that the, that the image in the, in the left is really, really helpful for, for the OCR. 
and the image on the right that is in curve obviously makes some difficult. Uh, most of the countries OCR supporting the camera. This is a really common question. Uh, okay, I'm, I have a parking and normally in the parking, I have car from Spain, from France. Uh, can I put different OCR in the camera? The answer is yes, with no limitation. Okay, this is important. The problem is, and the customer needs to know, as less as better. So we don't have any limitation to running different the OCRs in taxis in, in the camera, but at, at less as better uh, for, because of the technology. We have motorized lens, autofocus, and you can do as, as well manual setting. Maybe you want to do some, some change because you are so expert in this area, you can do it. We have three input output. So we can, with the camera, we can open a, a boom barrier. We can trigger the camera with, with the magnetic loop, or I don't know, maybe we can change the status of, of the red light. This, all of this with one camera. Uh, POE, okay, POE is with the, with the splitter, so I'm going to talk deeper about this later. And communication support, this is really important. We have HTTP, email, milestone, FTP, et cetera, et cetera. So really, really powerful from that point. And master and slave, Structure. Uh, this is for, for example, when you have, when you work on a standalone and you want that one camera have all the information and the other camera looks or asks that camera to know if a car is permitted or not. So, well, I will continue. Ah, well, um, the, the last point a uh, black and white list available on camera to work on a standalone. So, well, Normally I will ask if you have any question, please type um, and I will try to answer as soon as, as the presentation is finished. Okay, so access control, what is done? Uh, CK Teco is a, is a company that have a lot of area, a lot of vertical solutions. Uh, and Normally, there are apply for access control as well for time and attendance. For access control, is one of the uh, biggest part of our company. So as you can imagine, well, we have the the complete uh, the complete solution for uh, access control with LPR. How? Okay, we, with with the uh, biosecurity software, that is a really powerful uh, software that you can find in our website. You can find a free demo for 60 days trial, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so you can you can uh, create areas of, of for, for access control, base, period, time, et cetera, all, all the parameters that you can imagine that can be applied in an access control solution or software has. And you can create, obviously, a person that are allowed to enter in this access area. So the name, you can type the area days period of that person, the fingerprint, the RFID card, and what it's for this presentation, number plates. So you can you can add up to six number plates for one person. Uh, if someone is really lucky and have six car with our biosecurity can pass uh, to 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 our uh, area with with our software. Okay, uh, how how it works? So the car arrives, the camera uh, grab the number plate, can grab a, be a trigger, like magnetic loop or something like that, motion detection or free flow. These two are roughly the same, so free flow, okay? So well, when the camera grabs the, the number plate, send to the, uh, to the controller, <laughs> and this controller sent to the software. The software are going to do the check and say, okay, this number plate is for uh, Mr. Martinez, and Mr. Martinez is, is allowed to enter. So in that time, go back to the control and the control open the, the boom barrier, a normal uh, access control for, for cars. Uh, so if you are looking for this kind of solution, the, the, the complete solution, uh, you only need the bullet camera, a controller, and the software biosecurity. If you have, if you don't have a boom barrier, we can we can add as well. Or if you choose 
the totem module. Uh, the totem has the camera and the controller inside, and so you only need the biosecurity. Uh, and well, this is uh, as a type here. It's ready for use in a small, mid, big access control project because really this this software is awesome. I invite you to to try to test in in our website and. If you are interested with the LPR uh, solution, you can ask us. Um, well, if you have a small or middle project, probably the biosecurity is not needed if you are only looking for access control for, for car. So the camera has a web server. I'm going to show you later, but the camera has a web server that you can uh, you can add a uh, number plate uh, in white list, black list. You can uh, activate the dry contact to open the barrier, or maybe you can say, okay, if a number plate that is in a black list appear, send me an email. Do it. This is only the camera, okay? So uh, imagine a, a small or middle project, then uh, uh, you have in the camera, the database of all the number plates. So the cars appear, we grab the image. Uh, the camera is going to search into his uh, own database and say, Mr. Martinez again, this is uh, allow it, open the barrier perfectly. So what are the actions that we can select with, with, the, with the camera? Okay, we can send uh, a message, JSON or XML, a by socket. I'm going to explain this later. We can do a input output. Okay, this is the, the the option that we will choose if we want to open a barrier. Or FTP, HTTP, milestone, trigger server, vegan, or email. Uh, as you can see, really flexible. Um, and the 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 configuration of this is is quite simple. More, maybe. Because this this is a small project, okay? One one camera, one one barrier. But imagine that you are in a in a middle project, uh, maybe a I don't know, a company or a golf club, and you have multiple entries, multiple exits. So you can you can select a master on a slave structure. What is that? So you in the first camera, the the, the one that are in a in a green square you type all the number plates that are allowed, or maybe the number plates that are in a blacklist. You can do it one by one, or you can uh, charge uh, export Soria LLC CVS, and the camera is going to save. And all the cameras, when it's going to, to grab this database from that camera. So this structure is completely a, Large. I mean, you can you can put with this structure two cameras, three, four, five, ten, whatever you want, because the camera is not searching all the time on on the master camera. Only once, you know, when when the master when the master camera have a new number plate, say to the other camera, I have a new number plate. Please update all all your database. So quite flexible. Uh, okay, well, this is the end of the access control system. You, I explain a little bit the complete solution uh, for big projects and the solution for small and middle projects. I'm going to enter right now in the payment parking uh, what we are looking for. Uh, payment parking has a lot of a lot of LPR camera. Uh, most of the most of the all of the management parking company have uh, his own integration. Okay, but I think that we really have uh, an important uh, an important punch, that we say like that in 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 the LPR world. So companies that have a smart city software, a company that are in the parking market, or are maybe looking for for an LPR camera for a new project. Uh, imagine, I don't know, this is an idea. Uh, uh, the, the, this kind of restaurant that you can grab the, the meal uh, with your car. So if, you, if, if there is a solution with LPR camera, 
maybe you can do like a VIP client, knowing the car. This is, you know, new solution on the market. Uh, so all these company can do integration easily with, with our camera. The way that a company can do the integration, it could be with HTTP or maybe with socket, client server. Uh, with Wigan, maybe a company has you know all the system uh, with with a controller, and finally with FTP. I'm going to focus uh, with HTTP because it's the easy one that I can show you. Uh, but more or less, it's the same for for all, for all the all the points. So what in the HTTP, uh, you go into and you say, okay, I want XML or JSON. I uh, want authentication not basic or digest, depends of the security that you want and the format you have to get, the post. You can have the image as well of the of the number plate. Um, you can set a specific param uh, of, of, of the post, okay? All the all the configuration, all the parameters that you can change in the camera are really nice explained in in the web server. So maybe you say, okay, I'm going to, uh, okay, I write well. Okay, maybe you say, okay, I don't know what you are all. I need to type. So you go to the green uh, question mark, and this is the help, and they say explain. Uh, for what is every parameter. So really nice. So after the presentation, I'm going to do a live demo so you can see how the camera works. Um, and I hope that you, if you have any question, maybe I can demonstrate with, with this uh, live demo. So well, your recruitment or solution. We, we understand that, that the business um, and this mature business uh, have a lot of new requirements that we need to solve if we want to to search or you know or gap in in, in this market. So for example, we have solution that no one in the market has. For example, you have the LPR plus a facial recognition. Okay, so imagine that you are in a big security company or maybe in a, a nuclear plant and you want to check okay i want to check that the car is allowed but also i need to check that the person who drives the car is mr martinez for example if if i talk about the the example that i that i type uh, after so you have the lpr with the Perface x that is suitable to outside environment and you can do double verification, number plate and face. And if, if everything is fine, open the barrier. Or maybe you prefer if you have a system that you send a QR uh, for, for the guest, maybe imagine a, a hotel that you say, okay, I want to do the, the LPR, but because you know the renting car all you know running all the time, I need also to check that the person is who's driving the car is, is the one that I allowed. Okay, well, you can put the LPR system with a QR reader with or biosecurity and open the open the boom the boom barrier. Maybe you can do simply. I don't want to do you know any fancy things. I only want to double check the car and maybe a RFID car. Done. Perfectly. And you open the, the gate. Okay, but what happened? If I like this solution, say Angel, this solution it's it's really new, it's really powerful, and I want to to have it, but on my own software. No worry about that because uh, with the API of the biosecurity, you have all the information and you can manage this information in your software, and the decision of opening the barrier is yours, it's not ours. So we do the hard work to match the LPR, the template of the face. We do the hard work. We offer you the information and you manage as well as you as you want. But maybe you say, look, Angel, I'm a big company. I have a really, really powerful 
a programmer's department. I don't want to use your biosecurity. non program at all as well. You can integrate every single uh, solution, individual solution with the SDK. So you integrate everything, you manage everything, and then the information is yours. And the one who has the information has the power. You do whatever you want with the with that. So well, I'm going. To, I, I finished the presentation. This is what I want to talk. I want to show you. Uh, I'm going to to do the live demo. So I don't know if I can. If the question that maybe if someone has a question can do a uh, now when when I when I test. The, the camera because I think it's, it's a good moment for for it. Uh, so well, uh, before going to the live demo, uh, thank you for listening to my presentation. I put here again my, my email, so if you want any any deeply information, I'm happy to to answer that. So well, I think maybe we are going we are going to to finish a little bit earlier. Um, Mr. Anhel, tell me. We have one question. It's regarding uh, your part, and it said, "Do you have any examples where you applied LPR integration?" Okay, can you can you reply? Sorry. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the me... question is like this: Do you have any examples of uh, this LPR technology that you already applied? Examples with other companies or examples in, in field. Well, we have a couple of, of uh, parking, access control parking. Uh, some company, big companies is, are starting to do our integration. Uh, as I can show you, it's quite easy. And this is, this is the, 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 the main point, the, because we put easy for a company to say, okay, let's, let's try this, this camera, this middle, you know, in the middle. It's not the cheapest because we have a high quality OCR, but the price is significant low if you compare with a high solution uh, LPR technology. Uh, so yeah, and we are really happy. We are starting to move a lot in, in the market. Uh, this camera we, we present a few months ago, maybe maybe a year because the time passed so quickly, uh, but are I quite new. So we don't have, you know, a large history of this camera. So it's, we, we can say this is a new solution. It started to move. Um, hopefully after this presentation, we can have more a, more customer that integrate the camera into, into the software. Okay, so you can start with your demo. Perfect. So, well, as you can see here, uh, this is the camera. Okay, if I go here, normally I type the IP address go to admin and I put the password. I'm going uh, let me, I'm going to, to do in on on English I think is is the correct uh, okay here we have okay because it's a CCTV camera that we modify so if I go here with the flash I enter again on English we see uh, the CCTV, like a normal CCTV. And if we, for example, goes to this, take time, okay, we have here. So uh, we can zoom in, we can zoom out, uh, we can change the focus, the areas, we, we can set up as, as a normal uh, CCTV camera. I'm going to do this one. And we have three three streams, okay? So one of the good part of this camera, for example, if I go to VLC, uh, taking a bit time to open. Okay, I'm going to VLC. And I go to setup, for example. Uh, where it is, where it is. Oh God. Uh, thing is here in the network setting, exactly. 
We go here for the network setting. We have the mainstream, the substream, and third stream, and we have the airs TCP uh, URL. So I'm going to go here. Uh, uh, I'm going to do production from network. I type and I And you see the same that the camera is, is seeing right now. Okay. So I don't know, maybe ah uh, stop the the video. Podrías dar al play al video del portátil? Sí. Sorry guys. Uh, this is the life life things. Uh the video stopped. But well, uh as soon as my colleagues uh, press play, ah here we go. Exactly. So we have their TCP streaming video that you can you can send to a, a thanks to a, to an a NVR or whatever. I'm going to close here. And um, well, you have here all the parameters like a normal CCTV camera. But obviously, I'm going to focus on LPR. Okay. So I'm going to LPR set up recharge the service. Why reset recharge? Because when, when I go live, I grab the streaming that is used by the LPR, but no worry. Okay, so main, and as you can see here, it started to read uh, the number plate. I have to say, this, this camera is designed to use in a parking, in a stop and go parking, okay? But because the presentation, I have already this, this video that, to be honest, I don't know where, where I found it. Uh, I used this video and I set the, cam the camera on free flow and it's work. It's it's work fine. Uh, so well, what we have here, we go to the setup. Okay, Th this video is 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 recording in Poland, so that's the reason I have Poland. But I can add Portugal, I can add Greece, I can add Andorra, I can add wherever I want, no limit. But as I told you before, at least as, as better, because it's a neural network that's trying to, to fit the number plate into every single syntax that we, the, we put here. So because of that, and I know it, I'm going to say only Portugal, uh, Portugal, sorry, Poland. We have trigger, free throw, and motion detection. Okay. Uh, trigger. Trigger is, for example, uh, the magnetic loop in a parking. This is so typical. So we can set up here trigger, uh, put the dry contact on the camera that is, you know, in, in the cable on the camera, on the wires, they say trigger contact, so easy one. Free flow, the OCR are running all the time. A motion detection, there is a, a let me say a software that analyzes if there is a motion, and um, when there is a motion, start to run in the OCR. I prefer, I like free flow, and I think for, for this is, is fine. Ah, and I forget to say, we have Europe, South American, Central, North American, Central, Asia, African, Oceania. We have a lot of, really, really a lot of, a, a lot of country with this OCR powered by neural labs. More things. Okay, the ROI. We always recommend to a, to set up a ROI because for, because the image always have you know information that is not useful for 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 the LPR, so I'm going to do it again. Perfect, have it. The show lanes, I can do show lanes, lane one, lane two, but because this is no, the, the view of this camera uh, have no, no, no sense to do the lanes, I'm going to delete the lanes. Expert option, uh, as you can see here, expert, expert. Maybe I'm not an expert, but I want to, to know what is that, so go here and this explanation of every single parameter. Okay, this is the minimum character high. Obviously, as you can see here, well, this is a little bit blurry, but well, the, the height of the of the number. Okay, this there. We all the LPR company use that. So the minimum character high, 10 pixel, the maximum 50, you want to change, 55, that's perfect. Minimum confidence, okay? When we read a number plate, the system, the neural network say, okay, this is, I'm sure about this, 
uh, about 99%, 86%, okay? So I, this is a filter that where, where you say, okay, if you read something below 90% of confidence, don't, don't show me. I don't, I don't want to, to look. A minimum play character is the difference between a one number play and the next one. You can type one, two, zero, whatever you want. Okay, so what more? Well, you have also the, the trigger option, uh, trigger capture. Imagine that when you trigger, you, you want to grab for image to make, to be really sure. So you just put here five or four instead of one. Uh, free flow option, it's really well explained here. Uh, I have this, I have the configuration to read as bare as possible the video that I play, okay? So, well, uh, uh, always I like to do that. When I change settings on the parameters, I restart the service. I like to do that, to make sure that everything changed fine. Uh, more things. Well, you have the expert option, log option, a lot of options that, that, that you can change uh, if you want. To be honest, uh, every, this, is, this is fine. You can have here the, the information, the Mac, the version. Maybe you have some problems and we are going to ask you about what version do you have in this camera? So you have here. Uh, more things. Okay, I think I can go to, to, to the main. Okay, uh, so well. Now, there's no car, but uh, my colleague, you know, put the, the, the I don't know how to say, the arrow on, on the stop button. Uh, so, well, this, this is a, a video, so maybe the car passes. So, well, I'm going to explain the list uh, so we can wait until the car appears. As you can see here, the because of the of the maximum minimum character size, the the number plate that we are going to read better is the one that are coming uh, in this in this lane. It's a video. It's a uh, recorded and playing this this video from from a screen. So don't don't think that the camera don't work. It's it's a video. It's a really tough situation for for the camera to be honest. But well, let's go to about the list and this is in, in really important if you are uh, thinking to use the camera on on an integration okay you can you have here all plates not in list black list you can create the white list that i erased uh, accidentally in doing some tests okay so imagine that i go here and i'm going to do an integration by http so you go here action for the list all plates all the plates that the camera grab are going to are going to follow these these rules. So I create this test HTTP enable, and I have this URL. That is this one. Webhook site is a web. Maybe you know it. That creates a, a server, a HTTP server. So you enter and you have the uh, URL. It's unique. It's only for you. So you go here, you copy and post here. And I want the JSON, authentication none, because I know what I'm doing, and the format post plus image, okay? And what appear in every single car, that number plate that the camera grabs, show this one by one. So what is, I'm going to enter, okay, date and hour. You have here, I can zoom, yeah. You have the date and hour, you have the engine, LPR, the plate. This is the plate that was reading for, for the camera. Uh, the confidence of the reading, the country, uh, ID, a lot, a lot of information. Uh, the crop, maybe you want to only the crop, so the, the, the system gave you the, the reference. The path where the, the image is safe inside the camera. Uh, the direction, the image size, and this is the image, okay? Obviously, it's in 
HTTP format, but all of these are the image. So maybe maybe you don't want the image because as you can see, <laughs> it's not small. You have here more information as well. If you can enter deeply into what the JSON has and what is the integration, please send me an email. Uh, but imagine that we don't want a, the image, only only the post, okay? So we go here to the main. And in the next, uh, oh, for example, this one, maybe, maybe it changed here. Okay, so we go here. Oh, say, oh, this is, as you can see, uh, R7994. And here we have. And as you can see, there is no image. So that's that's easy to do the integration. So if you have a HTTP server where you where, where you need to have the information, the only thing that you have to know is the structure that we follow, okay, on the on the JSON. You program that and you put to the camera the URL. And that's it. And you have the the the, the integration done. Uh, well, I, I'm I'm really happy about this solution. It's a really good solution. The, the possibility of, for it is is really nice. It's awesome. Uh, so I I invite you to to talk uh, with me and with my commercial department and test it. Test the camera because I'm really confident that you are going to like the camera. And as soon as you test on the field when you install correctly, uh, not with a video like I'm doing, uh, and you will see the performance and how flexible it is, you will be really happy. Uh, so, well, that's that's the end of the presentation. Uh, thank you for, for joining. Uh, I don't know if maybe there is some new question uh, while I was doing the, the demo. So, Ms. Ranahan, thank you for your presentation and sharing uh, your passion about the product that you have. Uh, My pleasure. At the moment, we don't have any questions uh, yet. I would like to thank you once more for your presentation. Meanwhile, later, they can ask you on your uh, email that you provided at the beginning of the presentation. So, once more, thank you. Thank you for being part of this story. My pleasure. My uh, pleasure. Safe. So, well, thank you, everybody. Um, you have my email, and if you have any question, I'm happy to answer you. Okay, so thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, see you.